I'm live. All right. Hello, Prego Expo. Today, we are talking about seatbelt safety and pregnant women. Uh, we've got our assistant, Mrs. Bones, here. Uh, quite appropriate for the Halloween season. Um, but what we're going to be talking about is we're going to start off with um, why driving is dangerous for pregnant women and why it's different than before you were pregnant. Um, and we all have to realize, you know, I think with as much attention as we put on kids in car seats after they're born, we all of that is based on the assumption that driving is dangerous, right? We all know that driving is the most dangerous thing that we do every day. Um, but the reality is, is, you know, your family, you and your family have places to go and things to do. And uh, we all end up driving every day. Um, at Safe Ride for Kids, our mission is to help equip you to do, to, to eliminate as many or mitigate as many of the risks as possible. Um, and we do that by providing you with really innovative products and really awesome, up-to-date, current, accurate education and information via our website, saferideforkids.com. Uh, I'm Greg DeRocher, uh, and I'm a I'm the co-founder with my wife Amy, and I'm the CEO of Safe Ride for Kids. And my previous career was as a firefighter paramedic, so I saw firsthand uh, the the reality of the dangers of driving. And it was obvious uh, when we uh, started our company in 2012 that we wanted a dual mission. We wanted the product side with the revenue side, uh, but we also wanted the education side because I've been a certified child passenger safety technician since 2000. I've actually been certifying technicians in that uh, program since 2001. So I, I was a safety advocate long before I started a business in this industry. And my wife, Amy, joined us uh, or joined me as a certified technician Shortly after we met in 2003, 2004, she became a tech as well. So we are a team of certified child passenger safety technicians who take your and your family's safety very seriously. And uh, that's why we're here talking to you today. So what we're gonna start with is uh, helping with an understanding of how the seatbelt actually works as far as the adult skeletal structure. How does the seatbelt work. So the way that uh, we decided was the best to do that was to show you on a skeleton, what are we talking about here when we're talking about the seatbelt? So the principles of all restraints, whether it's a child's car seat or the adult occupant, is to contact the strongest po parts of the body, the bony parts of the body. So for the shoulder belt, that's coming across the rib cage and the shoulder. And you can see that here, obviously. Down here at the lap, if you reach down and feel your two hip bones, that's what the lap part of the seatbelt is intended to engage. And you can see here on his bones that the seatbelt on the adult occupant is engaging with those hip bones. So in a crash, if we simulate forward movement, the lap portion of the seatbelt is catching the lower body at the hip bones. Now that's all well and good until you're pregnant. Once you're pregnant, this area between the hip bones, the lower abdomen, is where your baby, where your uterus is developing. And as the baby gets bigger and this seatbelt is held out in front of your hip bones, by the pregnancy and your seatbelt is no longer able to engage with your hip bones, that's the danger. That's the risky part. And uh, before we started our, you know, carrying the tummy shield as a product that solves this problem, we needed to understand how big is this problem. As a paramedic, I knew that a pregnant woman was a high risk patient. That's obvious, right? I didn't know how many pregnant women were involved in car crashes every year. 
Um, once we dug into the statistics, we learned that about 170,000 pregnant women are involved in car crashes every year. There's about 5 million reported car crashes and about uh, 5 million unreported minor fender benders. So that's a total of about 10 million car crashes every year. About 170,000 of those involve pregnant women. But how many pregnancies are lost? How many uh, babies uh, are, and how many pregnancies end in miscarriage as a result of car crashes? The reality is we don't really know. There have been many studies done, and we have a link to those on our website. Um, but the number is somewhere from several hundred, you know, about 500 pregnancies a year that are lost. Other studies concluded about 7,000 pregnancies are lost every year. So at Safe Ride for Kids, we kind of picked the middle number of around 3,000 pregnancies are lost every year from the mother being involved in a car crash. Now, are all of those caused by the seatbelt? Probably not. Uh, but we believe that the seatbelt, as the first restraining uh, mechanism, is to blame for some of those. And we actually have a case study, a woman who contacted us after she lost her baby in a car crash because um, her name is Taylor and her and her husband were still in the hospital and they were devastated because she was uh, eight months pregnant and she was the passenger in the car and they lost their baby. So the seatbelt was the only thing that could have caused the, the brain trauma, the head trauma to their baby. Um, and they were looking for a solution and that's when they found Safe Ride for Kids. Um, so she shared her story with us. We share that story with, with you and all of our uh, website visitors. Um, so what we're gonna do now is now, so here's a fact that we learned from Jim Hoff for birth, who is the, uh, or he was the former director of the Office of Crashworthiness at the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. He shares, uh, he shares information uh, because he's a huge advocate for pregnant women in the car and he re recognized that the existing seatbelt system is inadequate. What he shared is that when this seatbelt tightens up on the hips, which it's going to do in a crash, if you measure from the straight line this way between the hip bones and the inner part of the spinal column, so if you can see it here on Mrs. Bones, um, between the seatbelt and the inner part of the spine is only about two and a half to three inches on the average adult woman, which means that whatever is between the seatbelt and the spine will be compressed or displaced during a crash. And this is all happening, you know, within a fraction of, an, of a second that all of this is happening. So it's either going to be compressed or displaced during a crash. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap out Mrs. Bones and I'm going to show you the tummy shield and then we're going to um, show you how the tummy shield works with the pregnant woman. Now, a, a little fact to, I'm going to step off camera, but I'm going to keep talking. Um, a little fact is that the during uh, pregnancy, during the nine months of pregnancy, uh, uh, the baby in the mother's womb is at five times the risk of fatal injury as opposed to the nine months after they're born when they're in a car seat. Let me say that again. During the nine months of pregnancy, the unborn baby is at five times the risk of being fatally injured in a car crash as opposed to the nine months after birth when they're driving, when they're riding in the car in a certified car seat. So the baby is at higher risk during pregnancy than they are after they're born. Now that five times number actually only came from cases where the mother died in the crash also. So what does that mean? That that five times risk might be higher, 10 times, 
We don't really know. And the reason we don't know is because there's no mechanism to track miscarriage or the cause of miscarriage in the medical system. There's just nowhere to document if mom was involved in a crash and it resulted in a fatal injury, uh, a miscarriage or a stillbirth. So that's, you know, a reality of our tracking system in the medical industry. So this is the tummy shield. This is the product that we're talking about today. Um, this is how it comes out of the box. You can see here is a metal anchor point. This is open on the front so that the seat belt can slip into the product. So it's, it's kind of a, it's open at the front. So you can slip your seat belt in here and I'll show you how that works in a second. This strap here is made to go around the back of the vehicle seat back and anchor in. What this is doing is this anchor is not actually holding you, the occupant. This strap is intended to hold the tummy shield in place so that as you're getting in and out of the car, it's not moving. If the tummy shield is um, not being used, say in the passenger seat while somebody else is driving, then we're going, we can, um, it, that strap is going to hold the tummy shield in place. I'm going to adjust the camera just a second here. And hopefully that will give you, a, now you can see the anchor point here, right? All right, good. Um, now this piece here is an extender that changes how far forward this anchor point is in relation to the seat back here. And it's made for different size occupants. <clears throat> We're going to talk about other uh, products that you can find on the market at the end. But the distance where this anchor point is in relation to the occupant's crotch and their legs is a huge safety issue. So this is how the tummy shield is going to be sitting in the car. I'm going to grab our other mannequin here which is intended to represent a pregnant female. So this is what we're talking about here. We got the baby bump here, and I'm going to install the seatbelt. Now, you may have noticed that the tummy shield has some thickness to it. It's about an inch and a half thick. So it's going to elevate you. It's going to lift you up in the car about an inch and a half. But it is made of foam so it will compress. <clears throat> and real quickly here, what I'm gonna show you is what's actually inside the tummy shield that you don't see. What's inside the tummy shield is a single piece cast stainless steel plate that is then molded into foam and the strap is anchored to the steel plate right here. So no other product on the market is made of stainless steel with, that is engineered and crash tested to be strong enough to support you and restrain you, the adult occupant in the car. The tummy shield has been tested to be at least as strong as the seatbelt itself. I believe it's actually stronger, but we haven't actually run that test yet. So, um, this is what you wearing your seatbelt would look like. The seatbelt, if you're like my wife Amy, is annoying. It's being held forward of your hips by your pregnancy. There is no under the baby because in, when she was pregnant, the belly, I mean, her pregnant belly was sitting on the tops of her thighs in the car. That was just the reality. So the tummy shield is going to work by just introducing some slack into the system. You drop that slack down in between the legs and anchor it into the tummy shield and then just snug up the seatbelt. Now the mother, the adult occupant, is being restrained by her hips or by her femurs, by her legs in what feels like a leg harness as opposed to the lap portion of the seatbelt coming across here. The shoulder belt is still going to be coming cross mid chest, mid shoulder between the breasts. That is the correct way for the upper body, upper seatbelt to work. 
All that we're changing is the lap portion of the seatbelt. So that's the tummy shield. We believe it is absolutely by far, hands down, the best, safest option on the market today. Um, so what are some other tips that you can uh, implement when you're using or when you're driving? Whether you're using the tummy shield or not, you should be a passenger whenever possible. Uh, what that's going to do is that's going to mitigate the steering wheel being a part of the of the equation. You should, if you are driving, push yourself back away from the steering wheel as much as possible. We want distance between anything outside of your body and the baby. So that's the steering wheel, the seat belt. We want to redirect the seat belt. Ideally, eliminate as many distractions as possible. Uh, what we uh, find is that uh, a good, alert, defensive driver is going to be your best chance for avoiding a crash altogether. And then um, if, you, if your steering wheel is adjustable, if you are driving, make sure that it is adjusted up and pointed towards your face. So rather than being pointed down where it's coming out this way, try to lift your steering wheel as much as possible so it's coming out and up towards your face and not coming out and hitting the baby. Those are just a few of uh, some uh, suggestions for being safe while you're pregnant and driving in the car. The other thing, uh, go to our website. We have a full ebook that you can download. And if you do decide that you're going to purchase a tummy shield today, you can use the Prego 2020 for a $15 discount. That's P-R-E-G-O 2020, no space as the coupon code and that'll give you $15 off the, the tummy shield. We are going to link to our website, to all of the education information, uh, a link to the studies, all of that'll be in the chat. It'll also be uh, on our page here in the Prego Expo for the next couple of days. As long as the Prego Expo is going on, we'll be in and out. Uh, I do believe we have some time scheduled uh, to be live in our booth. Uh, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Amy and I. Um, we are happy to help. And as a last thing, let's just talk real quickly about some of the other products on the market. For example, um, these are some of the other products that are out there. This one is made of foam and straps and elastic. Um, this one is made of plastic. And it tries to do the same thing as the tummy shield but it's made of plastic and it's way out here at the knees or at the edge of the seat. So it's moving the anchor point forward. So this occupant, and this is for a bunch of the knockoffs on that you'll find out there, moves the anchor part, anchor point too far forward. So the occupant is going to slide forward, slam into this, uh, uh, slam into the seatbelt out here the product is not engineered to withstand crash forces, so it'll probably fail, which will then lead to additional excess seatbelt into the system, so the occupant's going to fly forward again. All horrible for you as the pregnant mother and your unborn baby. So check out the Tummy Shield. It is by far the best on the market. Um, we're happy to help in any way we can. Uh, we do have another cool product on our website called the Ride Safer Travel Vest. If you already have toddler age children, uh, it is a great solution for going on vacation or fitting three kids in the back seat or uh, rideshare taxi moms. Check it out. It's called the Ride Safer Travel Vest. And please join our Facebook group. And we're happy to be a part of your family helping you arrive every single time. So thanks for joining us today. Um, if you, again, if you have any questions,